Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. I am Emerald and in today's video I'm going to be talking about firewood logs. When it comes to firewood season, it is important that we have enough logs to make into cut and split to sell because we basically sell as much as we can split. So the more we split, the more we sell. And so it's important to us that we have enough logs to get us through the entire winter. Obviously we can order more, but stocking them up now and then letting them season a little bit, dry out over the summer is the best idea. And I'm going to be talking about the specific logs we actually use because we have a trick that I think that you guys might find kind of interesting here. So if you would like to, remember to like and subscribe, but other than that, let's get into the video. So far, our log inventory is kind of astonishing. I don't think that we've actually ever had this many logs for firewood in inventory before. So I think that we're all pretty impressed that we have this much here stocked up uh, and we're definitely getting ready for this upcoming season, assuming that it's going to be a little bit extra than previous years just because of the price of electricity now so we'll see what happens but we're expecting a lot more firewood customers than any other year because of what's happening uh, with with electricity so these are not the logs that you would imagine would be good for firewood they are really large some are a little gnarly and they're not going to fit in our bell's firewood processor uh, they're just way way too large a lot of these are too big even for the mill to handle Obviously, they're all hardwood because our uh, premium mix would be our premium hardwood mix and so it's the best for home heating would be the, the hardwood. So there's no softwood in here. It's all hardwood. It's kind of hard to identify the species right now just because they are barkless. I'll get into that here. All of these logs have metal in them and actually they were rejected by sawmills around our area and we ended up buying them for kind of cheaper than a high grade log obviously and we're going to turn them into firewood. It's an interesting thing to note that these logs are actually more valuable to us as firewood than they are to us as mill logs. 
obviously we can't run these through the mill because it has metal in them and that would destroy the blade. You won't believe what we've pulled out of some of these logs, but it's not going to hurt the blade of a chainsaw nearly as much as it would the blade of a mill. And it's certainly not going to hurt the wedge on our firewood processor or splitter. So they are a lot val more valuable to us this way. So you can see the pigment that's in the log right there, and that's how you know that there was definitely metal in it. And it's actually going all through this log. This log has been cut down, and you can see it runs through every one of these pieces. So it was a very large piece of metal, and that's definitely, definitely signs of metal in that. And that's, that's what it looks like when there's metal. It actually stains the wood, so... Uh, you definitely want to know what to look for when it comes to that because you don't want to put a piece like this on your mill. So we cut all of the logs down with the chainsaw to 16 inch pieces and this is the standard length for our firewood would be 16 inches. A lot of wood stoves can fit that and then we'll use the tractor and bring them up to the splitter up there which Judah is running right now. Obviously, with some of these larger pieces, it kind of takes two people to even get it up onto the splitter, but uh, you get a lot of firewood out of um, some of these logs just because of the sheer size of them. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at LumberCapital07, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.